Dr. Lamar Hasbrook is here, the Executive Director of the National Association of County and City Health Officials. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So how can the health departments work together to help achieve this goal, which is the healthiest nation in one generation? Right, so I think that we um, need to be on the same page, and so I think that kind of an enterprise approach, making sure we're pulling the local, the state, um, you know, the federal, all of the different entities together in kind of an enterprise approach, kind of an all-in approach. Um, and then I think marketing is going to be important. You know, it, when, it, whenever you want to kind of change culture, you got to have, you know, a good marketing presence. I think another key strategy is to, to join with some of the initiatives that are already going on. Robert Wood Johnson, for instance, built a culture of health. You know, there's things going on in Public Health 3.0. So by joining and linking this audacious initiative with some of the existing campaigns, I think we get a lot more mileage that way. One of the biggest challenges this year was the Zika virus and having to react to that unforeseen yes. health crisis. How do you think we can achieve the goal of dealing with existing challenges and then also the unexpected? Well, I think first of all, we have to understand that the unexpected is the expected. Something's going to happen. Before Zika, it was Ebola. Before that, it was SARS. It was MERS. It was H1N1. So we got to get wise and understand there's going to be something that's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So we need to be prepared by having some emergency funding set aside somewhere that we can call on and draw down for surge capacity to react. What happens is we get caught up in the cumbersome you know, process of trying to get the, the legislature to move and approve money and authorize money, and things like that, that's far too slow. Um, you know, by the time that rolls out, that funding rolls out, it might be six, nine months down the road and you know, populations are vulnerable in the meantime. So we need to create a fund, an emergency fund for these things that will eventually happen. One of the chronic problems that we deal with in, in public health is the opioid addiction crisis in this country. How can we really try to not just address it, but make some meaningful yeah. changes? I think the first thing we need, need to do is try to destigmatize uh, addiction as a disease. When folks understand it is a disease, um, I think they're more empathetic. I think they're more likely for their hearts and their minds and their pocketbooks to open up uh, to look at treatment. I think you have to address the supply side, which is responsible prescribing from physicians and things like that. Help Helping to educate consumers to get rid of their prescription opioids when they're not using them, return those things and, and destroy them. And then we have to address treatment. We have to make treatment options available across the board. Can you talk to me about some of the priorities for your organization and how APHA can help? Sure. So Nature's, one of Nature's kind of anchoring priorities is really around health equity. And I would say APHA has done a great job in that. You know, really looking at things through the, the health equity lens because that covers the gamut from any health malady, any preventable condition, any premature death. It's about equity. So that's going to be a priority, an anchoring priority. I think another one um, is really going to be around helping our members uh, to be, um, to work at the highest level of a, of, a, of a health officer. So a high achieving health officer or a community chief health strategist and really begin to bridge additional partnerships and bringing others in under the tent in terms of addressing the health of communities. Let's talk about who some of those other partnerships might be, some non-traditional partnerships. Yes. So non-health partnerships um, are, 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 are principal. I think uh, in terms of health, our healthcare delivery partner is very key um, because they have a lot of resources and they have a lot of, uh, a lot of weight. But outside of that, you know, we need to get folks in terms of community development, a community investment and reinvestment, um, folks to understand that there are conditions in communities that actually lead to, to bad health outcomes. And so, you know, if it's those institutions, those investors, um, if it's across, you know, transportation, if it's across, you know, housing, stable housing, other things that you wouldn't think of necessarily as health, but those are the predictors and the determinants and the drivers of health at the end of the day. And if you bring everyone together, it all works well. Dr. That's Lamar right. Hasbrook, thank you so much. Thank you.